فاکس نیوز مصاحبه اختصاصی با رودی جولیانی در مورد گرد همایی جهانی ایران آزاد جولیانی در بزرگترین کنفرانس اینترنتی در تاریخ شرکت کردیم و به میلیون ها نفر وصل شدیم به نظرم در کتاب رکورد گینس وارد می شود مجاهدین و مقاومت ایران خواستار یک ایران آزاد غیر اتمی هستند آنها ایرانی میخواهند که حق زنان را تعمیم کند و رئیس جمهور آنها یک زن فوقلاده به تمام معناست تروریست های رژیم ایران او را دو بار در کنار خود من مورد حمله ترور قرار دادند یک بار در آلبانی که متهمین دستگیر و متهم شدند و یک بار هم دو سال پیش بود که صد هزار نفر در پاریس بودند و صبح همان روز چهار نفر را دستگیر کردند شامل یک دیپلمات رژیم ایران که برای منفجر کردن گرد همایی آمده بود در گرد همایی ایران آزاد ما به تمامی شهرهای ایران وصل شدیم و پیام من را به ایران ارسال کردیم Well, that's former mayor of New York City, of course, and the president's lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, last year attending the huge Iranian opposition rally of the National Council of Resistance of Iran in France. He speaks there every year. This year, the event, called the Free Iran Global Summit, was held virtually because of coronavirus. But the message in Oda Tehran has stayed the same, calling for the end of the Iranian theocratic regime and crediting President Trump's maximum pressure campaign against Iran for progress. Maryam Rajavi is the group's leader. We believe regime change in Iran by the Iranian people and resistance is within reach. We expect the international community to adopt a firm policy vis-à-vis the regime in Iran to recognize the right of the Iranian people to resist against the ruling tyranny and to stand with them in their struggle for freedom. Well, former Mayor Rudy Giuliani joins us now. Uh, Mr. Mayor, good to see you. Uh, you've supported good the group you, for Eric. years. <laughs> of course, you too. You've supported the group for years. Uh, you've spoken many times. What did you tell them this year about Iran? Well, you know, I told them this year that we're getting, we're getting closer and we're getting closer for reasons that almost be a surprise to people in America because the mainstream media really does the work of Iran. I think because Obama was so favorable to Iran, the mainstream media has become apologists for Iran. But the simple fact is, for the last two and a half years, there's been a protest every two days in Iran. They've killed, in the first year of it, they killed 1,500 people. Now, they, now it's harder to get statistics, but I know last week they killed 13 people in protests. Every city in Iran has had a protest. Uh, the protests almost always get violent on the part of the, uh, the, Iranian, the Iranian authorities. I mean, they shoot mm -hmm. and kill people. In a protest, no, no, nothing like the issues we have here in America. And if you're MEK, that the sentence is death on sight. So we've lost since the protest has began. We've lost about 1,200 identifiable people who either were MEK or there are some cases where they suspect some poor person of being MEK who isn't, and they slaughter him. This is a regime is that is beyond anything in the world. The regime of terror. When you say MEK, you're talking about the National Council of Resistance of Iran. They've got lots of activists out there. We've interviewed some of the protesters out on the streets. It's been a controversial group. Was once on the terrorism list of the U.S. No now, question. as you as you just said, Ooh, Tehran Eric, calls Eric, them Eric, the terrorists. <laughs> Eric, who's going to do this but a controversial group? They've lost twenty thousand of their members. I mean, you don't do this unless somebody comes against you. These are extraordinarily brave people. You know them. You've met them. They're not. They're not terrorists. They haven't. They. They were taken off the terrorist list now ten years ago. That was all done with a big stupid deal with crooked Clinton, and finally got straightened out ten years later. This is an American group. They want a free Iran. They want a non-nuclear Iran. They want an Iran that allows rights for women, which is why they have a president, interim president, who's a woman and a great woman by by all means, and they have twice attempted to assassinate her right next to me. So I'm pretty close to her. They did that 
twice in uh, 2018. Once in Albania, those people have been arrested and convicted. And then once, you remember, two years ago, mm -hmm. we had 100,000 people in Paris. And the morning of the rally, they arrested four people, including an Iranian diplomat, coming there to blow up our rally. So this is a very dangerous group. And uh, we got the message out yesterday with the largest virtual Zoom conference ever. I think we're in the Guinness Book of Records. We reach millions of people. And the thing that we do that people don't realize, we go into Iran. They have terrific equ equipment. These are brilliant people. We go into Iran, every city, and we broadcast in Iran. And I get letters from Iran. And you, I'm you, very let me interrupt you. You mentioned Iran. the woman. Her name is Marin Rajavi. You're right. There was uh, uh, this assassination attempt, a bombing attempt, at the event that you were at last March. Here is Mrs. Rajavi uh, talking about her group's aims. The Iranian resistance has also emphasized the need to restore the six UN Security Council resolutions against the regime. We call for the extension of the international arms embargo against the regime. 30 seconds left. Do you think we will see the day when the Iran regime will fall? Just like we saw the day in Poland and the Soviet Union and the, and the Berlin Wall fall, and we woke up the next morning and said, how did this happen? This is, I can feel it. I know how tenuous that hold is, and I know how strong and determined these people are and how well-funded they are. This is not a group to be taken lightly, and America should give it more support.